Hi friend, I have a success report to share with you. Uh, I would like to draw your attention to all of the cow patty critters that have colonized this cow patty. Uh, this is our third year grazing and in the first two years we mostly only had bad insects colonizing the cow patties. Those were uh, f like parasitic flies for the cows, face flies and things like that and almost no beneficial insects and I started to get me a little worried. I know that it takes time to build habitat to get these beneficial populations to grow uh, but look at the difference. This cow patty is only a few hours old. These uh, The cows have only been in this paddock for less than 24 hours and this one's looking pretty fresh and you can see all the critters on top. Oh look at that guy. Oh how cool is he? Oh there's another one. What are you? So cool. Uh, but if I pull the top layer away, can you see how many dung beetles are just under the surface here? I'm so excited. There's tunnelers and there's rollers. And basically what they're doing is uh, taking the manure and drilling it down into the soil. Uh, it's fertilizer, it builds our soil organic matter layer, and if the uh, beneficial insects can outcompete the negative ones, then this will also help with fly control and parasite control. And in my wildest dreams, in a couple of years, these cow patties will disappear within just a handful of days if we are doing our regenerative grazing uh, methods correctly. So yeah, very excited about this. This is a huge, huge success report. And uh, to celebrate, I have downloaded the free uh, Cow Patty Critters manual uh, from the uh, Government of Canada website. And it has 226 pages of color photos of all the kinds of Cow Patty Critters. And I dug out my hand lenses. And so starting this weekend, I'm gonna be doing a little Cow Patty Critter inventory with uh with the manual oh exciting times so cool